you've always been able to look at social media. You've always been able to hear social media. You can talk with your friends. Introducing though, the opportunity to smell. Introducing the nose of them. What is the nose of them? The Nosathon, as you can see attached to the monitor here, is a device that not only sends whatever smell is happening in your room, it also receives the smell from an either end. It has an easy to use app available on Apple, Google Play and Microsoft Store that you can download and use. How? I'll show you. Have a look at this prototype. Hi, I'm Steve, the inventor of Nosathon. We've had a bit of fun, as you can see in the previous video, with the idea of uh, smelling and sharing that smells with others through a device that sits on your laptop and shares and sends and receives smells. But there are a lot of technical barriers, to be honest, to get over to, to make this project successful. Uh, the first one in, would be the cost. Um, we would need an investor to invest a, a, a relatively large amount of money for, the, for this to be done. And we're talking of millions, not thousands of dollars. However, once it has been developed, you, we can mass market. It is a new, it's a novel approach. There are sensors that actually sense particular smells, but there's nothing out in the marketplace right now that would do what we're asking to. Other technical requirements could be uh, what do you do to refill it? Is it due to a cartridge-like system or is it a chemical that it can create on the fly? How you set your algorithm up? 
and matching your smells because we all have slightly different senses of what we think a smell is, what we feel a smell is. Um, so that's another technical difficulty. Um, the final technical difficulty is how would you get that smell out to to the the audience? Is it a fan would be enough for pulling it up, or would you have to have it in a smoke or a mist, or um, or or is there a a, a, a a further element which we don't know in this stage of prototyping? Finally, the, uh, there's some um, talk about the ethical concerns around the different smells. You know, you can smell the good and the bad. Um, would you block some of the smells, or or would it be a, a limited amount of smells you could smell? Um, I think that uh, social media, as a general rule, tends to uh, tends to um, censor itself to limits. Um, even though there is a lot of censorship going on in Facebook and and um, the social media spaces. But I think that, the, you, you, that there would be some concern around how do you censor that smell or how do you censor those people to, to ensure that the correct smells are going out. Um, the other ethical questions around drugs, could you create the smell of drugs? I don't know if it actually is an issue, but it's there as, a, as could be concerned. I think that that is just on the, a viable solution if we could get the money invested behind it as a new way to have social interaction between you and your fellow friends, your acquaintances, your workmates. It could also be a massive marketing tool. Could you imagine uh, products selling their goods online? And you could smell it, not only see it, you could almost taste it. Anyway, that's the uh, prototype and project for Thank you.